Te Rema is a piece about sex and desire and spiritual awakening and spiritual emptiness and money and the bourgeoisie and God. Te Rema is about a family in Milan who get visited by a mysterious guest who turns up and has sex with everyone in the family. He has sex with the mum, with the dad, with the housemaid, with the daughter and the son. And just as strangely and suddenly as he arrived, he suddenly disappears, sending everybody mad. I think Pasolini's films and this story are all about um, looking at the world differently, that um, the world doesn't have to be a certain way and that in fact miracles can happen. In terms of putting on a piece of opera and staging it, which following the spirit of trying to show things differently. So when Pasolini tried to make films that didn't look like the films that had come before, it's a happy challenge to be inspired to try to make an opera unlike ones you've seen before. When Giorgio wrote the opera, it's, it's not as though he invented music. It's like I think he, he tried to release the music that was inside the characters. And, and the way in which Giorgio's music is composed, there are surprising moments where bursts of melody just creep through. There are moments where the music, heartbreak and loneliness and emptiness are just find their voice in music. Well, music played a big part in the film. So Battistelli is again picking up that challenge and uh, in a sense giving it a, a, a happy home in the world of opera because uh, Yes, sound is at the, at the center of the world of Tiarima. The story of Tiarima is people behaving unusually, behaving in a way that they don't normally in their lives. So one way to express that is singing opera. So the form suddenly reflects this transformation that they're all going through um, out of their normal, normal behavior into something more unknown. The, the, the title of the piece was always very mysterious to us. And the more we learnt about the novel and about Pasolini, the more it made sense that he is somehow seeing his work as much as a scientific process, as an artistic one. And so there's, but there's this strange joke, I suppose, involved where he calls it Teorema. He claims there's a theory and a theory to test, but he is an artist, so he doesn't make it super clear what the theory would be. But the theory seems to be that he wants to test it's around the area of what has happened to humanity's soul. 